Welcome back as we get you ready for CattleCon 24 in Orlando. Now, we're excited to highlight some of the great work being done by Florida's beef producers. Here's a look at an operation where environmental stewardship is always top of mind. Cattle and citrus are the two driving factors at Williamson Cattle Company near Okeechobee, Florida. The business was started in the 1940s and today multiple generations of the Williamson family live and work on this land. I am blessed, I'm fourth generation and uh, the fifth generation is, is here with me today and living on the property also. Ranchers who run cattle close to Lake Okeechobee like the Williamson family get a lot of extra attention. The goal with both their cattle operation and the citrus groves is to develop practices that ensure nutrients stay on the land and don't impact the local waterways. They have some land in a wetlands reserve project that not only provides additional grazing land, but also holds water in place to prevent nutrient runoff. Our water is tested coming on the property, also leaving the property. And in essence, it really needs to leave here cleaner than what it came on. Um, and furthermore, we don't want nutrients leaving, you know, just from an economic standpoint as well. Um, we hold water back to help those nutrients be absorbed in the soil and, and thus grown as grass. Nutrients are very expensive in the form of fertilizers. We don't want them escaping. In 2004, Williamson Cattle Company became the first ranch east of the Mississippi River to be named a national winner of the Environmental Stewardship Award. For the Williamsons, the goal has always been to run a business that's both economically and environmentally sustainable. A stewardship is everything, you know, taking care of this property, um, preserving it, and making sure for the future generations it's like this, you know, not only the family, but also you know, our residents and people around us. Stewardship is something that is always in the front of our minds. One challenge the Williamson family faces is urban encroachment. The growing demand for vacation homes and new communities is slowly squeezing out the cattle industry in Florida, and the Williamson family is right on the front line. It, it's very sad. I mean, in my lifetime, I've seen numerous properties, you know, taken out of ranching and put into houses, developments. You know, it's, it's very important for us to try to maintain this land, you know, like it was. So we're constantly looking at ways to keep the property like it is through easements and other conservation efforts. Um, you know, there's a thousand people a day moving to Florida, over 22 million total residents. Um, so, you know, it, it's extremely important that we do things right and stay favorable in the consumer's eyes. Those consumers play an important role. By choosing beef, they're supporting ranchers like the Williamsons who are working every day to protect Florida's green space and its critical watersheds. The consumer ultimately is the boss. You know, they make that decision whenever they go into the meat case. And uh, when they pick beef, you know, they're picking a product that the majority of it is raised on grass. You know, we have so many conservation efforts going in with the wildlife corridor and different things. Well, most of that is cattle ranching. And so whenever you pick beef up out of the case and, and make that decision to buy, you know, you're supporting our conservation efforts as well. With CattleCon 24 coming to Orlando, John knows this is a great opportunity to showcase the many cattle producers who call the Sunshine State their home. Most people, when they, they think of Florida, they don't think of cattle ranching. Um, they think of, you know, uh, the beaches and all the different uh, theme parks and attractions. But uh, this would be a great opportunity to get people in and, and to, you know, tell our story. We have so many more people you know, in this state than we do cattle, which is was just different in the cattle industry where a lot of the states are actually the opposite way or are closer in the ratios. You know, I think it'd be a great opportunity to showcase how we can cattle ranch in an area with, with tremendous population growth. Whether it's cattle or citrus, the goal at Williamson Cattle Company is to develop practices that help them sustain their business while protecting the natural resources in their care. The way we've looked at it is, you know, we don't own this land, we're just stewards of it. And we make every effort to preserve the environment and the endangered species and wildlife. Reporting from Florida, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.